In object-oriented programming, exists the concept of encapsulation to restrict internally or externally access to some information from our APIs. Swift provides five different access levels for entities like classes, structs, or nums. Let's start from the most restrictive, private. When you declare a property or method as private, anything outside of the unit's declaration won't be able to get access to that resource. This is great to hide implementation details that are part of the unit, but not for external usage. However, extensions can get access to those private resources if they are in the same file. Next, we have file private. File private like its name says, will restrict the access to the property method or entity outside of the file. However, keep in mind that if you subclass from a file private entity, the new subclass must be file private or private. In other words, it must have the same or more restrictive access than its superclass. This rule will apply for the next access levels too. Next, we have internal. I think this is the most used access level in Swift because it's the default. Actually, if you don't specify anything, it will be internal by default. Internal will provide full access to all entities inside the model or framework. Nothing that is outside this model will see those entities. Now we have public. Public will make the entity available outside the defined model. This is actually great when you want to build a public API and expose certain features. However, you cannot subclass or override from any class coming from an external model. And lastly, we have open. Open is basically the same like public, but adding the features to subclass and override from classes. This is the less restrictive access in Swift, but it's only available for classes. If you want to learn more Swift, check out the links in the description below. My name is Pete, and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.